Hey, I got this chimney in here that I, I wanted to do away with, but it's actually going up in the attic and I feel like it's just gonna be a little more work patching the ceiling and the floor and all that and getting the brick out of this tight attic that it goes all the way to the roof. It was just topped off. So I think I'm going to keep the rustic look and just keep it there and, um, you know, maybe somebody will use it <laughs> down the road in the living room or something. The living room's on the back, but you could still run a pipe through there and run a wood burner on the other side, but I'm going to just make it look somewhat more presentable than this plaster that was on it. Um, I had a house before that had the same look to it and I always wish I would have just took the plaster off and took the retuck the brick and expose it and um, yeah I think this will just help with the looks and especially if it's going to stay so this is a before and I'm just going to show you really what every situation will be different with these old chimneys you don't know uh, what product was applied i'm pretty sure this is just plaster i'm going to show you how easy this is chipping off for me um, here. other place i think it was more it wasn't plaster it was more of a cement The brick chimney exposed and I must say I'm pretty impressed on that. I like that detail where it gets wider and goes up. Uh, I think it's going to clean up good. I'm actually going to wait and I'm going to go ahead and post this video but I'm going to trim this out later to when the floor is finished. I might actually mud up to the brick. I think I'm going to do that mud and tape that. That way it's a clean finish and I don't have to run um, like trim all the way squiggly up and down so that's probably what I'm gonna do and we'll tell you guys there's a couple ways if you want to mess with this really I think it it could stay the way it is uh, you could put a clear coat over it to keep I still got to get some of this off some loose stuff and over here but you could put a clear sealant over this just to lock in everything or um, if you get enough of it off to where it's not just rubbing when you touch it, then you can just leave it. You could take a wire brush to it, uh, but you don't want it to wear when you're rubbing your hand across it, you know, you've got stuff falling on the floor because over time it's just gonna stay dusty in your, in your house because of this. So you want to try to lock it all in. There might be a flat, like a uh, polyurethane or something, or some kind of tile sealant that you could put on this. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on it yet, but I wanted to let you guys know, I got two holes to fill in, and you can do one of two things. You can find some old bricks, remortar it, and then there was actually met, like a metal pan over this that got tore up when I ripped it out, and this one had brick in it and it came out, so I'm gonna have to redo something here. They make covers for these that you can still find. That's what was over here on this side. And you could pop a cover in there, or if you want something more permanent, stick some brick in there and just mortar over it and just have a hole right there showing with mortar in it. That's, I've also seen where people have taken wood trim and just went around and kind of made like a, uh, but I am curious to what is in this chimney. 
it almost feels like it's full. I can get my hand in here and it feels like it's full of crap. Like over time, I don't know how the chimney could have gotten full of, of stuff over time other than animals, but it's literally like dirt and here, this looks like a bird's nest almost. But I don't know any birds that would have built this big of a nest in here. So I'm hoping it's not, I'm definitely hoping it's not like a hornet's. Well, I know it's not a hornet's nest or a live one because there's no access to the outside. So this is amazing how full. And this chimney goes up probably six feet above me. So I can't believe why this would be full six feet up of just crap like this. It is beyond me. I don't know if that was something they did back then when they topped the chimney was put dirt in it for some reason. I, I'm getting whiffs of old coal too. This was definitely a coal burner. Look to this. Maybe this is. It definitely looks like dirt. But why would it be full? 